So in this video, I wanted to spend a few minutes talking about this pen. It's called the Bic Revolution. I bought a four pack of these a few months ago, and uh, it's a fairly standard Bic ballpoint with some sort of like eco-friendly qualities to it, uh, but it has an interesting design, and uh, you might be landing on it in a store near you, so I figured I'd do a quick video. Uh, so here it is, sold in a four pack. I think it was between six and eight dollars, something like that, and available kind of at I think largely in like big box in person type stores. At least that's where I found it. See, it has this sort of eco friendly cardboard type packaging. Learn more at recycling the pen through TerraCycle. Haven't really poked into that too much. Recyclable paper box and all that. And then uh, the main thing with the Bic Revolution is that. It is made of 73% ocean-bound recycled plastic. They do say that ocean-bound plastic is plastic that is near a water source or waterway that leads to the ocean. This is not reclaimed plastic, so it's not in the ocean yet, and they're pulling it out of the plastic. If, uh, if you remember a couple of videos back, I mean a couple, maybe months back at this point, at this point, we talked about a pilot pen made out of reclaimed plastic so that was plastic that had been actually pulled out of the ocean this is not quite that okay so what's the deal with the revolution pen uh, so this is a retractable ballpoint it has a hard plastic body so there's no grip materials here no rubber anything like that there is a sort of grip area but it's made out of the hard same the same hard plastic as the rest of the body it has a bit of a uh, texture to it down here and some contours to make it a little bit more comfortable to hold. There's a ridge right here that kind of differentiates between the front piece and the grip area. Some kind of light ocean motif, sort of like wavy over there. And here it's like a little bit frosted looking instead of here where it's more clear. Plastic, flimsy plastic clip, not too much going on there. And sort of this whole apparatus is one piece, which is pretty nice. You could see that they reduced some of the complexity. I guess they maybe increased some of the complexity, but they reduced the number of comp components at the top here. So when you push down, it has a side button that clicks into place. So sort of like a piece back here. I haven't actually taken it apart yet, but this locks in, clicks you release it here. If you keep pushing the top, nothing happens. It's just locked into place. And then that goes. There's a little kind of uh, nub right there. In a pen like the Lamy Swift or some other ones, when you pull up the clip, it releases the top or releases the button. That way, if you were to put it in your pocket, you don't have the exposed tip and you don't write all over your pocket. That's not like that. This little nub right there that's meant to just catch on the fabric of whatever is going on like a shirt pocket or a, you know laptop case or something like that wherever you're putting your pen but it won't release the clip i won't release the uh, the button so you have to push it there it's pretty easy to hit if you're trying to and pretty hard to hit on mistake so it's nicely kind of hidden away there and sort of like these little chevrons or arrows point towards it. Uh, I don't know how obvious it is, but I guess you can kind of get the idea. If you can't push it here, there's something else. There it is. Some light branding it says Bic here, Bic here. It doesn't say revolution anywhere or anything like that. You can open this up. It's not entirely obvious, but you turn this piece and actually that ridge comes with it. We see spring and then a pretty normal looking refill. It's not the same refill you would find in a Bic Crystal or Papermate, some of those. Uh, instead, it's kind of, a, kind of a very standard looking Bic refill. There's no branding or refill information on here, and I haven't seen these refills available for sale. But this sort of uh, not too long, not too short, skinny plastic refill with a spring stop, that's those little wings here, is a fairly standard design. So I bet if you searched around, you wouldn't have a problem finding this refill other places. The Bic Revolution is sold in four packs, but not sold in, you know, uh, 
0 0.5, 0 0.7, 1.6, whatever the tip widths are. In fact, they don't say anything here, at least that I've seen about the tip width. They just say, uh, you know, there's some notes here about how it's made of recycled material. So, you know, the barrel color may vary slightly. I haven't seen that happen. These are exactly the same. I don't see any variation here. But no notes about this being a medium or uh, skinny or broad or anything like that. So I guess it seems to me like it's about a 1.0 millimeter ballpoint, which would be typical for a medium. So uh, as far as writing goes, this is a very standard, kind of an old school style ballpoint. It doesn't have that jet stream kind of a new style hybrid refill. This is very much a ballpoint. So this is the Bic Revolution. So I would say the pen is fairly comfortable. It definitely is slippery. If your hands are dry, your hands are wet, or you have gloves on, which there's no kind of grip here, and it's really quite smooth. And then when it's skinny, when it's wider here and skinny this way, your hand, your hand tends to ride up. It doesn't ride down because there is a, or you slide down, which there's a ridge here. But I feel like my hands are on this are always kind of slippery. That'll be better when the winter is over and your hands uh, kind of aren't as kind of like uh, have a little bit more, more, more moisture to them. But in the winter seasons, I find this to be quite slippery. The pen itself, like I said, very standard writing ballpoint, very reliable, writes on pretty much anything but it has a lot of drag to it, and it's not a super smooth type pen. But as far as ballpoints go, very reliable, keeps going, and this should have months of use to it. It is the, pretty sure it's the 1.0 millimeter size. Here is the crystal in the 1.6, and the Revolution, and I believe in the 1.0. You can see that fairly different, you know, fairly different, uh, fairly sizable difference as far as the width goes. You definitely don't have that extra broad width here, but a lot of people like the crystal in the standard 1.0 millimeter. So uh, this is kind of more akin to like a normal BIC ballpoint. So on the whole, I think this is a cool looking pen. I like the packaging. I think this just kind of like makes me feel good. Makes me feel like this is a, uh, you know, they're being thoughtful about the environment. The body is definitely refillable if you want to hunt around. I don't think the refills are necessarily for sale, but it seems to be like you could find a refill if you want. Uh, and like I said, pen's reasonably comfortable. I think it looks cool. I think it's just like a uh, kind of an interesting looking pen, definitely considering it's not that cheap, but it's not super expensive. You can pick up, like I said, I think it's four of these for about maybe six to $8. So, uh, expensive for like more expensive than a crystal, which is arguably a better pen, but you're getting a comfortable pen and one you could feel good about using. So not something I would definitely, I would say you need to track this pen down right now. It's not at all that sort of thing, but might be a better option if you're looking around for a pen and you're in a, a kind of a big box store, like a Staples or a Target or something like that. You see it and it could be a fun pickup. So that pretty much covers it. That's the Bic revolution. Thanks for watching.